Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again, and today we're going to be adding a GD EMU to my Dreamcast. Now this is basically a flash cart for the Dreamcast. You can run your games from an SD card. Installation and setup is really easy. These range anywhere from $60 to $400. Now the $400 ones are the original version, the real ones, but I'm using a $62 clone from eBay and it does work. Basically, this is going to replace our disk drive inside of the Sega Dreamcast, so you will have to disassemble your Dreamcast, but it's really easy to do, and I'm going to walk you through every step we need to get this up and running. Now, I completely understand that it's easy enough to burn discs for your Dreamcast, especially if you have the older model. You just burn them, put them in, and you can play a game. But I wanted all of this consolidated on an SD card or some type of drive, and the GDEMU allows us to do that. So I've personally tested a 128GB micro SD card with this GDEMU unit, and it does work. I'll leave links for everything that I'm using in the description. And by the way, if you're looking for a good HDMI cable for the Dreamcast, I can recommend the Pound cables. You can get them on Amazon for 20 bucks. It plugs directly into the Dreamcast itself, and picture quality is great with these. And at $20, it's really hard to beat unless you just buy a little $10 converter. And the last thing I have here for this whole setup is a SanDisk 128GB micro SD card, but it does come with a full-size adapter. So like I mentioned, the installation of the GD EMU is very simple. All you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver, and I recommend using something bigger than I have here. There's three screws that are visible on the bottom of the Dreamcast, and when we remove the modem, we'll find the last screw. We're going to remove these screws. And once all four are taken out, we can pop the top right off of the Dreamcast. This one's a little cleaner than I thought it would be. Another thing you could do here while we have everything disassembled is replace the LED. So the GD EMU actually replaces the disk drive unit itself. There's three screws here. They're Phillips head screws. Some of them are a little tighter than others, but I do recommend using a magnetic screwdriver so you don't drop it under the motherboard. Just going to remove these three screws. And once those are taken out, we can pop the disk drive unit directly off of the motherboard itself. If yours is in working order, just put it somewhere safe. Don't just throw it away. And you could always put this back in later on down the road if you want to just put your Dreamcast back to stock. So basically what's going to happen here is we're just going to plug the GD EMU into the connector that the disk drive was plugged into. And most of these do come with little plastic standoff feet here, but you could always 3D print them out or buy some type of mount from eBay if you really want to. I'm just going to leave it like this. I think it's going to work fine. So now that I have the plastic feet in place, I'm just going to plug it right in. And now we're basically done with the installation minus the SD card. You can access this SD card slot from the disk tray itself, so you could put the top back on now if you want. So now it's time to get the SD card set up. I'm going to be using a Windows 10 PC to do this, and I'll be using CDI format ROMs, but GDI also works. Let's move over there now. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this SD card set up. Unfortunately, when you're using something bigger than 64 gigabytes on Windows, if we go to format it, we can't format it FAT32, and that's the format we need for the GDEMU. So I'm going to have to use a third-party application called GUI Formatter. Be very careful with this. It will format your drive. I have a 3 terabyte plugged in here. I need to find my SD card. So I've named it 128 gigabyte SD. This is going to format it FAT32. Let's take another look at that. Now we're FAT32. The next thing you're going to need is the GD menu. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this. I'm just going to extract it to its own folder. Inside of here, you'll find the README, the GD EMU INI, and a folder 01. I'm going to snap this over to the right hand side. I'm going to open up my SD card. And I'm just going to place this in the root, the GD EMU and the 01 folder. Inside of the 01 folder, we have the GD menu. I really do wish this was easy as dragging and dropping games, but it's really not that bad. So I have some Dreamcast games in a folder on my desktop called Dreamcast. Snap it to the left hand side. Over here, we need to create folders. So the next one would be 02. I'm going to go new folder. I'm going to name it 02. I'm going to open this folder 
and I'm going to drop one of my games in here. I'm using .cdi. It's going to transfer over. Now I do recommend just go ahead and create this folder on your desktop or on your hard drive because it's going to be a lot faster. But once this is over here, we need to rename this game to disk. Rename disk. Let's do another one. New folder. 03. Inside of here, I'm going to drop Dead or Alive 2. Once this is finished transferring over, I need to rename it disk. Rename disk. So we now have two games on the SD card. I definitely want to get more on here, so I've went ahead and created a folder already. This is the one I've created. I have nine games on here. In the first folder, GD Menu. We also have the GD EMU INI. I'm just going to take this, copy it over to my SD card. Since I already have some of the same stuff on here, it's going to ask me if I'd like to overwrite it, and I'm going to click Yes. I now have nine games on my SD card. It's ready to go. So we're going to move back over to the Dreamcast and see if this all works. All right, so I got my SD card inserted into the GD EMU. Like I said, you can reach it from here. Let's go ahead and power it on. Grab the controller, and we should see a logo on the VMU, if you have a VMU. That's a good sign that this is going to be working. There we go. We're now loading into the GD menu, and I have my nine games listed. I'm not sure if it's because I'm using the CDI format or not, but I do have some disc art that shows up. Unfortunately, not all of them are showing. We do have a few options to mess around with from the GD menu. Press Y on your controller, Options, System Info, and About. Under Options, Region Free is on, Force VGA is on, In-Game Reset, I'm going to leave this on. If you press all four buttons and start, it'll reset the game. I always turn boot intro off and leave everything else on, like Sega License. Just click Save Settings. Press your B button to exit the menu. And now you can start playing a game from here. I'm going to go with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Everything's working fine so far. I'm sure you might run into a few games with some audio issues. I've seen this in the past with other people using the GD EMU, but for everything that I've tested recently, I've had really good luck with it. We'll just test out one more here. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you own a Dreamcast and you've been looking to put new life back into it, I can definitely recommend one of these GD EMUs. Even the clones work good, and like I said, this was only $62 plus a $15 SD card, and I can consolidate my whole game collection so I don't have to be swapping discs out.
If you're interested in picking one of these up, I will leave some links in the description to exactly where I got mine. I'll also leave a link to the GD menu so you can get everything downloaded and set up your own SD card. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on the Dreamcast, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.